Hi guys, my name is Meads. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a diorama attempt for my Godzilla figures. And uh, I've been trying to find a way to make buildings. It's actually, uh, I, f I find it rather hard. <laughs> uh, especially if I'm not using any kind of paper craft template for that matter. Uh, my first attempt, I tried building this uh, boxes uh, fully enclosed. Which kind of works out, but uh, they're kind of too small. And if I want to make something as tall as that one, that requires a lot of paper. Um, another attempt is just have it three sided, like this one with a base. And that kind of worked out pretty well. Um, especially, you can make a, a medium size like this one. And I kind of have, I can also do some sort of an illusion. But if I draw a line there, I can have like the top part, but the, the shadow is kind of messing it up. But kind of does uh, have an effect and I also have this long ones here which I can do the same if, if I draw a line there and for an 8 by 11 uh, card stock I can do a long one, a medium one and a short one which is great uh, that way I can have two sets of them although I already have a, a couple of uh, enclosed ones here on the side <laughs> So that's my attempt and I kind of wish uh, there is an easier way and this guy doesn't have windows. Uh, drawing windows is another story. It's, it's actually kind of tedious to do and I just want to make something quick and easy. But uh, I guess if I want to make it look nice, there's no such thing as easy. I gotta put some effort on it. So eventually I'll find a way to make the process a lot easier and smoother. Also, uh, I just want to add out that I do have a bit of a uh, little miniature uh, trees here, which are great. I got an eight of them on a, a pack. Uh, really great. Um, if I line it up, I'm kind of gives you an illusion that it's in a street. It's really nice and it works out pretty well. So after looking at this, uh, you know, it's not too bad. I, I kind of liked it. <laughs> And maybe I'll make some more and have some of them that are crushed or crumbling or in, in flames. Um, especially when Godzilla is uh, using his atomic breath to wreak havoc. Yep. Um, another thing I want to point out while doing this is the scale. You know, I have Godzilla here and how does that stand up to a Gundam? Okay, so first off, Godzilla is about... Uh, 50 feet, or oh, sorry, 50 meters tall. That's roughly about 15 story high building, roughly. Could be 15 or 18, depending on which how, how tall the story is in terms of, you know, meters. But, I mean, I mean, it kind of makes sense because some buildings uh, are over 100 uh, floors up. So th these are the one that's tall skyscraper over here. So this kind of has a good re representation of that. All those big are really, really tall. <laughs> but um, I do have a high grade Gundam over here. But Gundams, uh, according to the wiki, are about 18 meters. So if Godzilla is 50 meters tall, it's less than half of Godzilla. So I have, have to have something really, really small, something that can even, uh, hide behind this building. So I cannot use a high grade. Uh, maybe something from a uh, 1 to 220 scale, perhaps? I do have a Fusion Works Gundam. Again, I would like to thank my cousin for getting me this. And it kind of works out. I mean, he can hide behind that building. Um, this guy is about somewhere in the middle. So it's about 20, 25 meters, um, you know, per scale. But, you know, something smaller than that. But for now, I mean, just for a reference, uh, it kind of gives you a little bit of perspective on how things are. Now, another giant in my collection is Ultraman. I do have Ultraman Tiga here. And uh, according to the wiki, Ultraman Tiga is about 40 meters. So slightly shorter than Godzilla. But um, the Ultra Act figures are about the same or actually slightly taller than Godzilla. So... <laughs> Oh, uh, what can I say? Okay, let me just move this around. And then maybe have Gundam here hiding, ready to shoot. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, it doesn't really go on to scale. Um, yeah, Godzilla is supposed to be taller. 
but uh, right now and these are the figures I have uh, I can't really make them taller or anything um, unless I guess I could if I made uh, I put a platform below Godzilla let's see if I can do that all right so pretty much what I did is <laughs> add those small buildings I have as a, a stand for Godzilla and right now kind of does uh he's somewhat closer to the scale uh, he's a lot taller than Ultraman now and Godzilla uh, or sorry Gundam is a lot shorter like uh, up to the knees so that kind of works out pretty well yeah actually if I have my super deform here got always have a super deform maybe sneaking on the back for support yeah I mean this could be an actually a, a fun diorama to have <laughs> But again, um, I need to make the Godzilla a little bit taller. So maybe have them on a hill or something. If I were to actually make a diorama. But yeah, it, it works out pretty well. So that's it. Uh, this is pretty much just my attempt. I just want to share it with you guys. And if you have an idea of a cool uh, layout for buildings. Uh, in terms of paper crap. And if you have Godzilla figures. Let me know what you come up with. Um, I did see a couple of them. Someone used uh, just a cardboard. Or even paper craft. Yeah, let me know how. Uh, what's your tip on that one? Maybe I'll grab some ideas from that and improve what I have right now. So again, there we go. That that's it for my video for now. So until then, this is Meads. Thank you for watching.